Hey and welcome. Today I want to show you how to use your PIP Traverse Safety Helmet uh, in conjunction with the ARC-1 SUHHA-03 with your existing welding hood. So stay tuned. Hey, I'm Drew McBride with Morris Marketing. I'm the rep for PIP and for ARC-1. Today, I want to show you how you can take an existing welding hood and make it work with the PIP Traverse hard hat. For all you welders out there, you'll be able to have a complete solution with your welding hood and a safety helmet in order to keep you safe on the job. So the first thing we're going to do, start by taking your PIP Traverse hard hat. If you've got a uh, lens mounted to it, it will not work with the lens mounted, so you're going to need to remove that. You remove that by simply pushing down on here, pulling out these clips. You pull out the clips on the other side and just get rid of that. Next, you're going to take the welding adapters from ARC-1. They're the SUHHA-03. If it has a different uh, 02 or a different part number on the end of it, it's not going to work. So make sure that they're the dash 03 part number. Inside the package, you're going to get two clips and two plastic nuts to hold onto your uh, hard hat. Open them up, and on the inside, one's going to say right, the other will say left. They're going to go in the hard hat or the safety helmet as it indicates as you're wearing it. So your left will go on your left side, your right will go on your right side. So take them, find the universal slots, which are the rear two slots. If you use the front slots, it's not going to work correctly. Make sure you're using these two rear slots right here. Take them, slide them in with the post pointing outwards. Got a good secure fit right there. Slide the other one in. Oop. Try that again. There we go. Now they're fully out. The way I like to install it to make it easier, take them, rotate them all the way down into the wear position. Then take your welding hood and simply remove the suspension. You may want to hold on to your suspension if you need to use it later uh, when you're not required to use a hard hat. But uh, just take this, remove it, set it aside. Don't worry about this anymore. Now, when you look at the hard hat and the, the welding hood, you'll see there's a rectangular shape here, and then there's a square right around this post. What this does, this allows that rectangle to move inside of that, or that square to move inside of that rectangle so you can wear it forward or uh, aft a little bit more to be more comfortable in the way you want to wear it. If you find you're having fogging issues from wearing it too close to your face, you might move it away or just to have a little bit better, cleaner uh, line of sight, get it to your own preference. Now you're going to take the post, insert it in the hole, line up the rectangle, take the plastic nut, screw it down, repeat the process on the other side. So we line it up, take the nut, oh, screw it down. Now that you've got it fully secured, Next thing you want to do is set your tension. The way you set your tension is by these screws right here. Typically you can do these just by thumb pressure, just rotating them, and locking them in. The tighter they're wound down, the more this hard hat's going to hold so that when you go to lift your visor, it stays up, but you'll be able to knock it right back down. This gives you a complete solution in order to wear the ARC-1 uh, welding hood or any welding hood that you have with uh, the PIP Traverse. It's going to provide a complete wrap around of the hard hat so sparks anything coming back is not going to come in get get into your your face remember underneath here you do want to continue to wear your safety glasses so make sure you have those with you as well if you got any other questions any concerns please reach out to myself or uh, any of the local reps that you have for pip or arc one be happy to do a demonstration for you or get you more information on this setup thank you